Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Command. Thanks for tuning in. We're discussing practical solutions in the crypto space, and if you've been looking for an XRP wallet that is supported on both desktop and mobile, this video is for you. Today we will be talking about the Toast wallet. I've covered the desktop version of the wallet in a previous video, and today we will be focusing on the mobile version. We will be walking through downloading the Toast Wallet app on your mobile device. It is supported on both iOS and Android. We will be setting up a wallet within the app and we will send XRP to the wallet and then I will show you how you can transfer XRP from the wallet to an exchange or somewhere else. So let's get out of here and we will jump straight over to my phone so I'm going to be showing you this on iOS. I'm in the App Store and we're going to do a search for Toast Wallet. All right when you do this Toast Wallet will come up as one of the top hits. I've already installed it on my phone so instead you will probably see an install button. I'm going to click open and that is going to launch the Toast Wallet on my phone. And this is the first screen that you will be greeted with, which is the license agreement. And up front, here in bold, in red, it is going to give you this notice that there is a 20 XRP reserve requirement for all accounts on the XRP ledger. So what this means is that this is the minimum balance you have to have to launch any XRP wallet. So this is regardless of whether you're using Toast Wallet or uh, any other software, hardware wallet, there always has to be a 20 XRP reserve. And this is to help cut back on people opening random wallets uh, and, and having XRP spread everywhere. So there has been a statement from Ripple that this reserve requirement could be lowered in the future, um, but over the past two years this has remained at 20 XRP and I don't know of any plans for this to, to change in, in the immediate future. So just so you know, there will be 20 XRP when you start a new wallet that will be locked up that you will then not be able to transfer out of your wallet. So regardless of whether you're using Toast or anything else. Um, what's nice about Toast in this case is that they are very upfront about this, so you're not going to be surprised if you're trying to, to transfer out and for some reason you can't get, get the last 20 XRP out. Alright, so you have to scroll through the whole license agreement, and down here at the bottom you have a few different options. You can create a new wallet, you can restore an existing wallet, or you could submit an offline transaction. Let's start out, I'm going to click Create a new wallet and the first thing that I can do is set a new pin. So I'm just going to, um, in this case for my new wallet, um, going to create a new pin. Uh, this is just going to be for demonstration purposes so I'm going to set the pin that you should probably never set. Alright, there we go and it's going to ask me to repeat that. All right, and now I have to set a passphrase. So let's just do this for demonstration purposes. I'm going to type in something and repeat that passphrase. All right, it is going to require that you have at least one number non-alphanumeric. So let's just add a one to the back of this. All right. Oh, and one non-alphanumeric. So it wants some sort of symbol in your passphrase. Let's put an ampersand at the end of that. Set passphrase. And now it's giving me success. Your new passphrase has been set. And so it's going to show me that I have a six-word recovery. And this will be... 
a phrase, six words, the part that is put here in the box. This is what you absolutely need to have in a safe place anytime you set up a new wallet. Um, what's really nice about the Toast wallet is that they are going to prompt you to say, I have written this down. Uh, I understand that the recovery phrase is not a wallet backup. So um, you actually have to click on these icons to enable them before you can click finish setup. So this wallet is just for demonstration purposes. So the other thing you can do here, I could simply take a screenshot on my phone, got it, and so now I have my passphrase stored if I don't want to take the time to write it down. I'm going to go ahead and click finish setup. This is going to take you to this home screen and what this will show you, um, they put this up front, uh, this helps keep the, keep the project going that you can donate to the Toast Wallet project. They have different amounts of XRP that you can donate or you can just skip through this screen with this bottom option and click not at this time. All right, and you're greeted with this screen at the very beginning when you finally get into your account. So it's a pretty simple interface. There's a home screen, this dollar sign, which is really the send option from and to, and then finally a settings option over here on the right. So let's go back to the home screen and set up a new wallet. So I'm going to hit that plus sign and then click it will give me the options to generate a new address, add an existing address, or get a vanity address. Uh, let's go ahead and just cover get a vanity address. There's this website called XRP Vanity. If you want to set up your own address that has some sort of clever name in here at the beginning, you can do that through this website. But we are going to just cover a generation of a new account. This is going to be the address that you are set up by default. You can give this account a nickname. I'll just call it demo for this purpose. And then you enter your passphrase that we set up at the beginning. So I'm just going to type that in here and you're done. Import this address. It's going to tell you that the XRP address was added successfully, and it will immediately prompt you that your recovery phrase is not a backup. So if you want to actually create a backup of your wallet, the only thing you can do from here in Toast Wallet is to create a backup now. So I click that. It gives me what the backup actually looks like. I can copy that if I want to so that I can paste it somewhere else. Now I can go back to the home screen. So I'm just clicking down here and I'll see my demo wallet is here. It will show that it is not activated. And I'm clicking on, sorry, let's go back. If I click on the not activated, I will see my address here, um, get trust lines. Um, I get transactions in here as well. The home screen on address, I can go back, I can change my nickname, I can actually delete this address if I want to, and I have my QR code if I want to send something to it. So your address will not be activated until you send that initial 20 XRP that actually gets this into the system. So that is going to remain not activated until I do that. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm not going to activate this wallet. Um, instead, I'm going to try to sync this with my desktop wallet. So I'm going to bring up the desktop version of the Toast wallet, where I have uh, an existing XRP account that already has 20 XRP in it. Um, this is one of the only thing you really need to be careful about when setting up a, an XRP wallet is that you don't want to create random wallets all over the place because of this 20 XRP minimum. So I'm going to go ahead, open this wallet, and then we'll see if we can get it synced onto my mobile version as well. Okay. So I have opened up my desktop Toast wallet, which already has 20 XRP in it. And now over here on my mobile 
version, I can try to add an existing address. So I can enter my uh, account secret by a QR code. Um, I can enter the account address, give this a nickname, and again enter my passphrase. So we can go here, I can have my QR code, and I can take a picture of that QR code, scan it, and at this point it will populate the address. Looks like that broke my screen share of my phone, so let's just get that back up for you. So I have my phone back up here. I've scanned the QR code that has populated my account address. I've entered my passphrase and I click import account. And it is going to require that you have your account secret on here as well. So I'm just going to pause the video so that I can take my secret that is available on the desktop version here, enter it into account secret, and then I will get this back on the import screen. Okay, so I was able to add my secret information again through a QR code, so very easy to go from desktop to mobile. And after I clicked import there, XRP address was added successfully. So I'll click OK, create a backup now, all that's there, present. And so now you see my new address, and beautifully they are in sync. So I can go into that account on my address. There it is. Um, and everything is now available on my phone that was available on my desktop wallet. So very easy to get this set up. Now, if we want to send something to this address, um, I'm going to demonstrate how to do that from a separate XRP account that I have. Here I'm going to demonstrate this from my XRP Exodus Eden wallet. So if I want to send to an address, um, I can take my address. I'm going to just copy it from here, paste that in, and let's just say I want to send an additional 20 XRP over here, and click Send. And I will just pause the video so that I can enter my password, and then we will send this over to our Toast wallet. Okay, so I have unlocked my my Exodus wallet and is asking me to confirm that I want to send this 20 XRP, currently valued at $6.69, that's my address. Um, just showing this, this video is obviously not covering the Exodus wallet, but there is an advanced feature here, and I just want to mention this because this is this brings up the destination tag, which we will be covering here in the next section as we move over to send something from your wallet to an exchange. If you're just sending something into your Toast wallet, you do not need a destination tag. This is information for your benef beneficiary or destination for a payment. Um, it is not, necessarily, not, not necessary for every XRP address that you send to, but it is typically essential to send to a specific exchange. We will cover that shortly. But for right now, we are okay. I'm going to go ahead and click send. And once that's sent over, we should see that in our XRP wallet on Toast Wallet. So I'm going to click OK. We can get rid of Exodus at this point. And I'm just going to refresh here. And transactions are super fast on XRP, so there it is already showing up. So the last thing I want to show you is how to transfer XRP from your mobile wallet over to an exchange. So to do that, I'm going to bring up Binance, and we will send some of our XRP over to this. So I'm on the Binance site. 
I'm going to just go over to deposits and here uh, I already have Ripple entered as the location and you will see that there is a box here describing that you should only send XRP to this deposit address and that you will need both a tag and an address to successfully deposit XRP to Binance. So on an exchange, the tag effectively functions as something like a routing number at a bank or, or an ID that makes it specific to Binance. So this is generally true of most exchanges, so always check to see if there is a tag that is associated anytime you are sending to an exchange. Binance has this security box here. I understand that deposits without a tag will be lost. I'm going to click check, continue deposit, and here both, it again prompts you both a tag and an address are required, so really there are a number of security alerts to prevent you from making a mistake here. Um, this is the tag, so again functioning something like your routing number to Binance and then your deposit address. Okay, so we are going to open over here on the dollar sign to make to send something to again it'll prompt you to say send at the top if I want to send it to an address I can simply scan my QR code I'm, so I can open QR and this will show me the screen here I can copy my deposit address or I can scan the QR code it will grab it, and I can also have it destination tag. So this, I can simply type this in. Uh, the Toast Mobile app doesn't have the functionality to actually let me sc scan the QR code for this as well, unfortunately. Um, while I have this and I'm entering this information, please feel free to, to make a donation to this deposit address that I have up here. It would definitely appreciate that, guys, but of course, just kidding. Um, let's click amount that we want to send. So if we wanted to send our 20 XRP over to here, click pay. Everything is entered. I can now type in my passphrase, confirm payment. And that's it. Payment was successfully sent. Click OK. That's it. If I now refresh my screen here, you will see that my balance drops down from 40 to 20 because I sent 20 over here. Um, if I look at my balances here on XRP, This will take just a minute probably to, to get over here, but my balances should show up very shortly. So the time on an exchange takes a little bit longer than if you're simply sending from wallet to wallet. Um, there is a confirmation that is required. One thing that, that I will say about um, the exchanges is that you do not have to maintain the same 20 XRP minimum balance there. You can actually withdraw everything that you have on an exchange. Okay, so I paused the video for just a minute just to let everything confirm. And now you can see that if I search for my balance on XRP, that my total balance is 20. That is what is available. So it only took a couple of minutes for this to confirm, but relatively straightforward and simple. So that's it, guys. Um, we've covered a lot here in a lot of detail, but hopefully this gives you a step-by-step -step guide of how to use the Toast Wallet on your mobile device, be able to move this from wallet to wallet, from an exchange to an exchange. If you have any questions, please post in the comments below. If I can't answer, hopefully we can get some solutions here or something that we should cover in a future video. If this video is helpful to you, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and until next time, thanks for watching Crypto Command, keep counting those coins.